Kinsey, and today I am here with Griffin Arnland. And we are filming a high school advice video, and then what are you filming on your channel? On my <laughs> channel, we are doing a sleepover night routine video, which I don't think I've ever seen, so no, it'll be, be fun. fun. So I'm continuing on with my back to school series and I asked you guys for a lot of questions on my Instagram. This is a more laid back, like big sister kind of video. Yeah. So these are all just advice questions. We're going to be giving you our tips. Also, if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new or coming from Griffin's channel or anything. And if you guys are coming from my channel, be sure to go check out Griffin's channel and subscribe to her as well. Thank you. What grade did you start experiencing senioritis? Honestly, my freshman year, I had the worst attendance, and I'm not saying that is a good thing, but like I was known for my bad attendance. Really? Yes. And teachers, yes, I had the worst attendance. It was horrible. What's your biggest tip for managing a social life while still keeping up your grades in sports and stuff? Okay, that's honest and stuff. <laughs> that's honestly the hardest thing to do because mm -hmm. it's really hard. I feel like as you get older, it also like it gets worse. Yeah. But it doesn't slow um, down. It doesn't slow down, but. It's actually pretty easy if you like are able to organize your time and if you just dedicate the weekends to hanging out with friends and then like Sunday night you can do your homework that's due like Monday or whatever mm -hmm. and then during the week you just focus on what you need to get done that week and then weekends you can spend the time having fun like that's what I do like with work. I agree. I will like take this with YouTube too. I'm so bad at just doing YouTube and like not mm -hmm. doing other things and it's so important to have a social life too. My tip with this would be a planner though like I'm yeah. a planner person and it helps a lot like to block out your time and I was actually good at time management in high school I know that like most people suck and like my teachers would always say you guys suck at it but if you get a planner it helps the calendar app is like my best yes, friend right now yes. <laughs> how to avoid drama this is a big high school thing yeah yeah drama was always very relevant in my mm -hmm. high school because especially because I was doing YouTube yeah so no one loved, like liked it mm -hmm. but as long as you don't initiate or you don't like if someone says like, oh, did you hear about this? Just be like, no, I don't really care. Yes. Like, you just kind of have to shut it down before it gets to you. And if you like, if you choose to listen to it, if you want to like, just like don't repeat it. And if you want to confront someone, I guess, just go straight to the person and don't yeah. talk to like eight don't, different like, people. Don't like subtweet and don't talk to like a ton of other oh people. Gosh, so that's the worst. No. <laughs> Do boys mature in high school? Absolutely not. No. 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 Honestly, you're better off waiting until if you go to college after college or <laughs> like, Towards the end of just college, like keep when they're waiting, waiting and then like keep waiting and waiting. Okay, so someone asked about how to like get a boyfriend too, and I don't think that you should like try to get a boyfriend. I've never really been the person who like really wanted a boyfriend. Like, did you really want a boyfriend? There was a point in my life when I had first moved to LA and like I was just like, I didn't have many friends when I first moved here yeah. because I didn't know anyone yeah. moving out. But um, there was like a point in my life where I was like, I'm gonna meet a guy. So I like dated two different people and I got cheated on. So yeah. like, the best advice is honestly to wait till it comes to you because that's honestly For what sure. happened. For sure. This is like kind of a tangent, but I feel like it's a good piece of advice. Yeah. So the first, like my first boyfriend that I consider my first boyfriend is like genuinely like one of the like greatest people. Like he's just a very nice guy and I really respect him. Like I'm seeing him tomorrow, like a bunch of our friends are like road tripping and then they're coming to stay. My dad would even be like, kind of sucks that he's your first boyfriend because he's so great. And because I dated someone who was so good to start off with, I haven't really like, just dated people that are bad and I know that like not everyone's gonna be like a fuck boy like there are yeah. good boys out there so I just don't give them the time of day so don't date people who aren't worth your time because it's a waste of time and you you should just, also it's bad. like not date people who you know like you, people go into things like this they're mm -hmm. like I know he's cheated on someone in the past but I think he's changed or I yeah. can change it like no just and, avoid it yeah and Another thing is so many people are like, well, he has a girlfriend, but he likes me. Like, if he will cheat with you, he will cheat on you. And I Thank will, you. I will get that tattoo to my forehead, guys. Yes. Like, I feel so, like, no, just don't. Okay, what is something you wish you had known starting freshman year? Ooh. I wish I would have known how much homework there was because freshman year wasn't necessarily as bad. But then as the years got on, mm -hmm. you get more and more homework each year. And I wasn't expecting it. So I was like, oh, I'm going to have, like, a great high school experience. Like, I'm going to have all these friends and I'm going to, like have a ton of fun, but then all this homework comes and I'm like, okay, I'm working all week. And yeah, weekend. you weren't prepared. Yeah, I just wasn't prepared mentally. This is so cheesy, but high school really does fly by. Like, oh I look back at it because we both, like this would have been our senior year, like ending our senior year. Mm -hmm. And I look back and so like we, I was only in like public school for three years, but it went by so fast. And I just remember at certain parts of high school just being so unhappy. And I just didn't like where I was and I didn't like what I was doing. And I just like didn't, 
I just wasn't like just happy, I guess. Yeah. And it went by so fast, and now I'm in a place where like everything in my life is just so much better. So like even if you feel like this is lasting forever and taking so long and it's just horrible, just try to enjoy it because it does go by fast. And like there are parts of my high school career that I wish I would have been like like more, more into. Uh, more into. Yeah, yeah. Because I was just like unhappy and I was like, oh, I want to get through this. Like try to enjoy it because it does like fly by. And it, it does end. It has like an end. Yes. Like you can't live in like the high school age forever. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's also something that I struggled with because I would always be like, okay, like let's just get this week over with. Yeah. Be the weekend. Yeah. And then like the week would fly by, and then I'd be like, okay, so this past week I wasted all my time because I did nothing with my life. Okay. The next question was how to deal with mean girls. Um. So I just think the the best way to deal with it is honestly just ignoring them. And it sounds so unbelievably stupid, but don't feed into it because they want attention. I like, fed into it, and I just wish that I didn't. And I wish I had known that there were like. I didn't like self harm or anything, but I was honestly like depressed to the yeah. point where I was just like not good and I was skipping school and pretending I was sick because I like genuinely didn't want to go to school and I would cry every night. Like it just got really bad. Mm -hmm. And I think I wish I had known that there were people that I could talk to and people that would listen to me about mm -hmm. it because I, I would like go to talk to one of my friends, but she wasn't actually a friend because then she would go and turn around and yeah. be like, hey guys, this is what Griffin told me she's insecure about this week. Yeah. Let's pick on it. So like just don't feed into it because I feel like that just like leads up to everything else. I didn't really deal with like a lot of mean people until I went to online school basically and it was like I moved so it didn't matter and I didn't care but there was like a video posted where they were like like it was like the soccer team and they were vlogging like fake vlogging they're like hi like they say my name in it and then they like were like Is making fun up? of me. I don't know. I'm not oh. sure. But they were like making fun of me and I like obviously like all my friends from home sent it to me, my sister sent it to me, like everyone went like crazy. Like and then they tried to say it wasn't about me even though my name was in it and I was just like whatever. Where I just remember like feeling like I wasn't mad and I wasn't hurt, but I just remember feeling like bad for them because I like had worked to like be in a place where I was so happy. Yeah. And like they're just spending their time making videos, making fun of me and I'm like, you know what I mean? Like yeah, you have like to just kind out, of like you know you have to just look at it in a way where like you pity them. Yeah. You know, you, like that's yeah. pretty much it. You have that's to. It. Yeah. That's really great. That's it. I forget that's it. That's, it. that's, that's it. it. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Okay. Um how old were you? Or like they asked it was basically like how old should you be when you get your first kiss? I don't think there's yeah. a certain age that you should be. But I, I had my first kiss at six, 16. I was 14, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I had friends who had it at like 12, and I had friends who had but, it at like 20. Uh, yeah, so it's me like, too. It's like so widespread. Like, you don't, no one really cares if you haven't had your first kiss. I feel like that's something that people don't believe, but like, yeah. no one cares. I don't feel like there's like an actual age that you're supposed to have it at all. No, there's not like a certain age that's like, it's not okay to have it, or there's not a certain age that's like, Go get your first kiss. Yeah, otherwise. Like you go get yeah. it. You do that. Yeah. One. Just let it happen. Don't like force it. Oh yeah, it's don't not that it. big of a deal. Don't plan it. Yeah, don't plan it. <laughs> it doesn't don't go be well. scared. <laughs> Trust us. We know. Like, <laughs> just don't plan it. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal, and no one cares if you haven't had your first kiss yet. And okay. if it's not like, I mean, I guess some people do end up together if it's their first kiss. I've seen stories yeah. where people are like. I have my like first very kiss. Common. Yeah, it's not very yeah. common. So like, if it's a bad first kiss and a bad experience, like, it doesn't matter because in ten years you're not even gonna be thinking about that. You're gonna yeah. be thinking about your hot ass boyfriend who's like just standing right That's over there. So true. <laughs> okay. okay. People have been asking how'd you graduate early. I graduated early online. Hey, how are you? Good. <laughs> so a lot of questions too have been how do you make sure that you stay close to the same friend group in high school, and. You don't need to make sure, like, you don't need to force friendships. Yeah, because if, if you're gonna stay friends, you're gonna stay friends. Yeah, if it's like, if you guys are like unbreakable and you're all, you're all going to different colleges, mm -hmm. you'll like catch back up. Yeah, like, exactly. After college. And another thing is, a lot of people, they start high school and they end high school with totally different friends. Mm -hmm. I've had the same best friend since fourth grade, and then my other best friend, like, we went into high school together and we're still really close. Yeah. So I have had a lot of long friendships. But like my friend group, the like group of people I would hang out with has like always changed throughout high school. Yeah. I was also a floater. I never had like a friend group, but it's kind of yeah. like went around. So. There were points where I had friend groups and I was like, wow, what am I gonna do if I lose these people? But I like, yeah. within the past like couple months, I've actually like lost a friend group. And I was mm -hmm. like, honestly, like if they're gonna be that easy to take out of my life, then yeah. it's not that big of a deal because I'm gonna have other people in my life that aren't as, not like easy to take out, but like yeah, they're gonna like be. You'll just have a like, better friend group for you. Yeah, that's another thing I think of 
that I like really have been thinking about a lot recently just because someone isn't good for like your life or like isn't a good friend to you or isn't like the friendship doesn't work out that doesn't make them a bad person like some people just aren't compatible yeah you know what i mean it doesn't mean that like they are a bad person it's just like some They're friendships not, just don't like, work out they don't yeah. connect with you yeah exactly yeah. like some friendships are meant to work out relationships are not meant to work out like i look back at really like relationships that i was like devastated ended and like now i'm so much happier yeah. so it's like thank god we broke up you know what yeah, i mean because if you didn't break up and you guys stayed together you would have a been in an unhealthy relationship yeah. and b you would have been like you wouldn't have met better people yeah down the line. yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to go check out griffin's video and subscribe if you guys are not already. um yeah so be sure to go check out griffin's channel and subscribe if you guys are not already and if you're from my channel make sure to subscribe and check out the rest Thanks. of the videos i um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you soon bye, bye.